So we're out here in Cleveland, Ohio. We're at the Christmas Story House. Kind of go in, take a tour. Brought along Road Trip Rich. He's over there rubbing a leg lamp somewhere. So sorry you missed him in the intro. Yeah, over here it's only 51 cents. Yeah, but you don't have him twisting it for you. Don't shut your eyes! Don't. You have to twist it yourself over there. Was there no end to this conspiracy? Gene Shepard. Gene Shepard is correct. He is the writer. Anybody know who the director is? Now, Bob Clark is the director of this movie. So, Gene Shepard, who is the writer, he actually grew up in Heaven, Indiana between 1930s and 40s. This is also where his dad was a worker in the steel industry. Now, Gene Shepard actually started his career in radio broadcasting. A lot of his shows were based on real life shit, shit, I'm sorry, situations. So, he soon um, decided to go ahead and turn his stories into print. And he most famous for his book, In God We Trust, All Others Pay Cash. It's available inside of our gift shop if anybody is interested in reading it. It is a collection of stories of how the Christmas story movie came to be. Now, Bob Clark, who is our di um, director, he is known for his B-rated horror films, such as Black Christmas, as well as Children Share Play With Dead Things. <laughs> and he's also famous for Porky's, if anybody's seen Porky's from Black Christmas as well. Okay. Now, one day while Bob Clark was living in Miami, he actually was on his way to go pick up a date. He hung, heard G. Shepard's story on the radio and instantly felt so infatuated with how Flea got a tongue stuck on a flagpole and knew he had to be a part of this production. Now, it wasn't an easy movie to get going. It was a low-budget movie of about $3 million. MGM Studios agreed to give them $2.5 million with an agreement of doing the Torch sequel. So Bob Clark said, okay, we're going to go ahead and do that sequel. He made approximately $150,000 and he used that to go to the budget of a Christmas story movie. Now, it was two main important things for Bob Clark and Gene Shepard for this movie. One was finding a department store that was big enough and that was willing to keep Christmas decorations up way past Christmas time. And another was finding a city or town somewhere that reminded Gene Shepard of his still like town home. Now, out of many advertisements across the world, it was only one department store that actually gave him a call back. Do anybody know what that department store is called? Can you guess it? Kmart. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everybody say Macy's. No, it is actually it was actually called Higby's. Now Higby's building is not um is still standing, but it's no longer called Higby's. It is now the Jack Casino that is located downtown Cleveland. Now if you're looking for another attraction to go to, the casino is very lovely. Um, I personally like it, but we're not going to talk about my gambling habits here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and check it out, okay? It's a nice little casino. Okay. So as they're going to go ahead and check out the department store, they kept noticing some steam coming from a steel mill. They decided to go ahead and follow that steam, then ask for no type of direction to actually turn on the, um, this street by accident. Now, when they seen this house, they instantly fell in love with it. It reminded Gene Shepard of his childlike home, and also was the only house on the street that still looked like it was in the 30s and 40s. So they decided to go ahead and hop off the car, knock on the door, it was no answer. So they said, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and wait around a little bit. They went to the Rowdy Inn across the street, which have been standing for five years now. And they get asked around, do anybody know who owns this home? A guy turned around and said, well, I own that home. Now they did ask if it was okay to go ahead and rent off the house for 11 weeks to film the production of A Christmas Story. He said, no, I don't want you on my house and I don't want you reminding me anything in my house, okay? 
So they said, okay, we have something for you. They ordered him a couple of drinks and a twenty thousand dollar check later, they basically threw the key straight after God. <laughs> <laughs> they had put him in a hotel for uh, for those eleven weeks. Of course it was paid in full. Now when they did get to their home, it wasn't exactly what they thought it was gonna be. It was way much smaller than they hoped, and they knew they couldn't get all things inside of this home. Now enough with the boring stuff. This is my favorite part of the tour because your inner child can't come out in this house. Everything in this house is interactive. You are able to touch, jump, whatever you want to do in here, you are able to do. If you want to go ahead and grab that red ready BB gun and shoot you, uh, your eye out, you are able to do so. <laughs> if you want to go ahead and stroke that leg lamp, that's completely up to you. If you want to go over the kitchen sink, just like little Randy did in the movie, you are able to do so. You can also go to your little Ralphie and Randy's room as well. And don't forget to pick up the telephone. It will be a message for you guys, okay? I'm going to go ahead and give you about 15 minutes. Please meet back here, and we'll be starting the rest of the tour. Pictures are allowed. Just please keep your backs up. There you go, Rich. Shoot your eye out. You'll be able to get out. You're not that old. Yeah, that's where he was hiding in the movie there. <laughs> Boy, them doors look like they stick a little bit. <laughs> Dad's gonna kill Ralphie. Ah, uh, this, this turkey looks like it's seen better days. Ricky boy going upstairs. Bedroom here, huh? Oh, here's some notes. C plus. A nice little bedroom here. Yeah, good size. Oh, there's actually comics inside there. They got a little orphan Annie in there. Yeah. Old Westerns. That's pretty cool. Let's see what we got over here. See the Bumpus's house through the window there? You gotta go? No, I can wait. Good reading, too. Oh, here you go. Take a bite of it. This will be, that'll be good. Come on, take a bite of it. Here we go. Yeah. Thank God for mask. Rich, don't don't be a dirty old man, Rich. Don't do it. <laughs> Watch out, that's fragile. There's a shed where he shot the black bard gang. Rich, shoot some black bard gangs there. Uh, I can't remember. Let me see. Well, they were climbing up the tree. I think they were climbing down trees. Kind of stuff there. 
saw from Adam the Woo right about here is where the icicle came down and broke his glasses there. Right. Okay. Yeah. In his video, he kind of matched up the pictures. Rich, shoot your eye out, break your glass, break your glasses for effect for this video here. Break my glasses for effect? Yeah, you can act like you're Ralphie. It'd be awesome, man. It'd be cinematic genius. What do you say? No problem. Just buy me a new pair. <laughs> yeah. Brothers Bib. Who could get him wrapped up like that? Look, Rich, they got your old outfit in here. Hey, it's even a picture of me. Yeah. You guys think this is the actual red rider that was used in the movie? Yes, it is. <laughs> you are correct, it is one of the six. <laughs> so, no. No, you are correct. It is not the one that was used in the movie. Peter, Billy, Stan, and Kenny Rock, we have the original one. They were six made for the movie. We have one. Peter Billingsley has the original one that was used in the movie. And a director who should not be named, he or she have one as well. Here goes to tell you three is missing. So like I said, took under the beds and the closets and the trash cans. Because this is way um, worth way more than that lead lamp, okay? So if you ever decide to, um, you know, find one or bring one in, you'll be able to tell if it is a Red Rider BB gun because it comes with three attachments. You have the compass. You have the sundial and gray bin stock, which Ralphie was so adamant about time in the movie. And you have the most important part, the tassel. It is most important because it is on the left-hand side. So these six guns were the only six guns around that time that had an, um, a tassel on the left-hand side for a left-hander. So Ralphie was left-handed, okay? Another thing, it is a sequel to this movie. It is called My Summer Story. Now, if you love bad movies, this is the one for you, okay? <laughs> it did so poorly and never made it into theaters and went straight to DVD. And that is because they decided to go ahead and make this movie um, the sequel to A Christmas Story 10 years later and were not able to cast none of the original um, actors. The only one they were able to get in contact with and cast was the teacher, Miss A++++. Plus, 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 plus. Okay, and another little fun fact about the movie, if you notice, um, the robbers in these pictures over here, they didn't have enough actors to play in a lot of the um, robbery scenes, so they had to improvise and start using kids. So if you look closely, those are kids playing as the robbers as well in the movie. And a little bit of where are they now? So we have Melinda Dillon, aka the mom. Now she is currently living in Paris. She owns her own art studio. So that's currently where she resides. We have Peter Billingsley, aka Ralphie. He is a screenwriter now. We have Ian Prichella, aka Randy. He is a puppeteer. You might have seen his work in Power Rangers, as well as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then, unfortunately, Darren McGavin, the old man, aka the dad, he is deceased. He died in 2006, okay? Now that um, concludes the rest of our tour, when you are ready, you will exit out that back door. Thank you so much for coming out today on this rainy day. Hope you have a wonderful day. Now, if we, if we were to run into Peter Billingsley, is it worth beating him up and taking his gun from him? Yeah. Because okay. he never even came to look at his little Oh, face. really? He got everything. <laughs> He's the only one here. So right next to the Christmas Story house, we know what's there. It's the Bumpus house. No hound dogs out there today. All right, Rich, what do you think of the uh, Christmas Story house? You being the Grinch that you are there, or the Scrooge, or whatever. Scrooge. 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 Okay. Uh, it was it was kind of interesting. 
Yeah, I enjoyed it. Have you even seen the movie? Yeah, bits okay. and pieces of it. And uh, how'd you like the leg lamp? I like the leg lamp. <laughs> how about you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, good tour there. Uh, anybody comes up here, real easy to get to right off the highway, maybe, what, a, a mile off the highway? Um, maybe a couple. Maybe a mile off the highway. Uh, and uh, parking right right next door. Right now, we're in between the Bumpus houses behind us there. You can see that in the background. And in front of us is the uh, Christmas Story house. Uh, Free parking. Recommend anybody come and visit. Who knows where the toll road will lead to next. See ya.